guys, it's Chris, and I am finally back uh, with a new video. Um, I know that it's been a while since I did a video, but I am back. Um, Happy New Year to everyone. Um, yes, uh, I need to get, I'm in the process of getting a background, so you guys don't have to see whatever's in the back right here. Um, if you guys see me looking down, I'm just looking down at my um, monitor. Um, so yeah, um, I know that you guys see like clothes back there and all that stuff, but anyway, um, today's video is going to be, um, my skincare, uh, routine. Uh, I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is that I do. And, um, yeah. So if you guys would like to keep on watching, <laughs> what am I saying? Mm -mm. So I'm going to show you guys my skincare routine um, and all the steps that I use to get my skin. I mean, I'm not saying that my skin is perfect. My skin does have a couple of uh, little defects right here, but um, it's not the worst either. So <clears throat> I'm sorry if you guys see the glare from my glasses. I just don't want to put my contacts on. This is Marcus. Say hi. Hi. Um, go, go play over there, okay? okay? Just be quiet. So, yeah. Um, if you guys would like to see what it is that I do for my skin, then please keep on watching. Okay, guys. So, the first thing, uh, that I like to do in my skincare routine is, um, wash my face. Um, <clears throat> what I'm currently using right now is the Cetaphil, uh, Daily Facial Cleanser. Um, this is for normal to oily skin, and it says here, removes excess oil without drying. Um, so yeah, so basically I use this, um, when I take a shower, I have a little, a little, um, round brush from Sephora, it, it must have been like $3, and I use that, um, in the bathtub when I take a shower or in the morning, um, I just clean my face with this. Um, now, uh, what I'm going to show you guys that I do, I do this, uh, roughly about three times a week. Um, so what I do first is I first clean my face. Like I, I will take a shower and I'll clean my face with this. Then once I do that and I come out the shower. Now I like this, uh, soap because it, it doesn't leave my face feeling super duper dry. Um, it feels clean, but it doesn't feel like all of the moisture got sucked out of my um, out of my face. So the next thing after I get out of the shower, I use this um, soap. The next thing that I do is I have my own facial steamer, um, and this is the one that I have. Um, I got this one over at Amazon. I believe it was maybe $40, $39.99. I I don't remember the exact uh, price. Let me see if I can find that on my phone. Um, hold on a second here. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I think it was um, $39.99. I think. I don't remember. Or maybe $29.99. It was something like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, find the link to this specific... Uh, face steamer and I'm gonna um, link it in the in the section down below so you guys can click on it if you want so basically it comes with this little reservoir that you fill up with water and then it has this little uh, thing this is where this goes so you just click it right in and then you turn it on once you turn it on um, it's gonna take a little bit of like maybe a couple of seconds for the steam to start coming up and once um, the steam starts to come up, then you just let the steam come on your face. Now, the reason why I don't steam my face without washing my face first is because once you, when you're steaming, you're opening up your pores. And if you open up your pores and your skin is uh, dirty, all of that dirt that's sitting right on top is just going to go right into your pores and you do not want that so what I do first is I make sure that I clean my face really really good with this and then I come and I open up my pores um, so once the steam starts coming up if you guys can see this 
it starts coming up and then I just put my face right in front of it and I just move it around and I just let it steam until all the steam starts uh, not starts but stops uh, coming out so I will fast forward you guys through this or I would just come back to you guys once the steam is done because it's kind of difficult to speak and have my eyes open with this steam coming up on my face so I'll be back okay guys now that <clears throat> the steamer finished um, and our pores are open this is the perfect time for you to use this little tool here if you have any white heads or black heads that you want to um, come out you you want to pull out of your skin um, if you if you have anything that you feel like you want to take out now is the perfect time because now your pores are open and this is the perfect tool for that um, just spray with a little bit of uh, alcohol so you could kill any bacteria that's on there because your pores are open you don't want to put more bacteria on top of that and you just take out whatever white heads or black heads that you guys might have um, what I like to do next is now that my pores are open I like to go in with a mask now the mask that I'm going to use is from L'Oreal it's the pure clay mask um, and it's the black one I also have the red one which is the exfoliating one and I also have the white one which is the mattifying one now for this one this is just to pull out all of those impurities out of your pores um, and it says here apply an even layer to clean dry skin avoid eye area and lip area leave on for 10 to 15 minutes then remove with water for best results use three times a week so what I like to do is I and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like once I open it um, if I could get it open this would be great okay here we go so once you open it it looks like this now I don't like to uh, stick my fingers in there because one my nails are pretty pretty long and I don't like to do that so what I usually use is a synthetic uh, foundation brush and I just go directly in there and I put it on the areas that I want to um, focus on so I'm looking at a mirror here so I just apply a nice thin layer over all of my pores because I have a lot of visible pores right here and I just go right over that the other side too now sometimes I do this to my whole face depending on how I'm feeling that day and sometimes I just put it right here on my areas where I have most problems so I'm just gonna do that here and do that here on my uh, forehead and connect it here with my nose and once I have it on the areas that I want to concentrate it on I just let it be for 15 minutes and let it dry up um, so while this is drying um, I will tell you guys where I got this mask now I have seen the masks on CVS but I saw them for like $14.99 or $12.99 I got this ones off of Amazon and they were about $8.40, $8.50 no more than that so if you could get your hands on them the best thing to do is to to me is to buy them off of Amazon because they're cheaper <clears throat> now I have used all three masks um, once a week I will use the red one because it's exfoliating it has like little uh, you know and like an exfoliating thing that has like like the little balls and the beads and I'll show you guys what this one looks like um, it looks like that I don't know if you guys can see the texture 
Um, I don't think so. But there's like little tiny uh, micro beads in there. And that will help you with the exfoliating. And then uh, the white one. So I pretty much use one mask. Since it's recommended that you use them three times a week. I use one one day, this one another day, and then this one on another day. Now I always do one on Sunday because the next day you go to work or you do whatever and it's the beginning of the week and you want your face to look awesome on a Monday. So I would usually go in with uh, this one, the black one, and then maybe on a Wednesday if I have wore makeup during like Monday and Tuesday. Um, I would good then go in on like on a Wednesday with the white one which is to mattify and I really like this one I did notice I get really oily here on my t-zone and I really noticed that with this one I wasn't getting as oily so the middle of the week Wednesday that's good so the white one well it's not really white it's kind of like uh, like a mint like a really really light mint green and that one looks like this and then on Friday I would then use the red one the exfoliating one so cuz usually on the weekends well I work Monday through Friday on the weekends I wouldn't really wear makeup unless if I was going out to a party or um, or on a date with my boyfriend or whatever I would then on a Friday night after I get home, take a shower, do whatever, I would then use the red one to exfoliate my skin and really get rid of all that nasty stuff that has been accumulating on top of my skin during the week. Now, um, in between the other days, I do wash my face with the Cetaphil cleanser. Um, sometimes, if I feel like my skin is feeling a little eh, I would take the um, Noxzema the cream and I would put it on my face and then I will get into the shower and then I'll have the the uh, the round little brush that I use and I'll put some Cetaphil on on the brush and then I'll remove the Noxzema with the brush and the Cetaphil at the same time now when I do that my face does feel a little bit uh, dry once I get out of the shower but then once I take this off I will show you guys what I use to keep my face uh, moisturized so um, we still have a little bit of more time to go on my face but if you guys can see let me see if I can zoom you guys in Oops, wrong way if you guys um, can see here when it's drying you see all of that those are my pores they're wide open right now and this is pulling out all that gunky stuff so yeah it looks like this so I'm just gonna let it dry a little more I would say I have about another five to seven minutes to finish and then um, once it's all dried I will come back and I'll show you guys okay so and um, this is what it looks like let me just zoom you guys back in again oops wrong way um, it looks a little um, not as light here because I think I just put a thicker layer on this side but if you guys can see um, my pores yeah it has been taking stuff out um, it doesn't feel uh, wet at all. It just feels really, really tight. Like if I smile, I feel like it's going to... Like if it's going to crack. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to go to the um, bathroom and I'm going to remove this. Now, the best way to remove this is with um, warm water. Not hot water, not cold water. Warm water, like lukewarm. And then you just massage it off your um, skin. And then we'll continue with the uh, with the rest of the video. Okay, guys. So now that I went and I removed uh, the mask off my face, I just pat it dry with a clean towel. The next thing that I'm that we need to do is um, we need to close our pores. Our pores are still open at this point, and we don't want any bacteria to just go right in there and settle into our pores being that we just did all this hard work into getting them clean and getting them clean 
so what I like to do is this is what I like to personally do I like to go in with a poor refiner toner this is from Neutrogena I don't know if you guys can see that really well but um, it says here visibly reduces the appearance of pores and refines uh, skin alpha and beta hydroxy formula and then in the back here it says this effective alpha and beta hydroxy formula works to deliver visible results sweeps away dead surface skin and smooths over roof uneven patches penetrates deep into pores to visibly reduce their appearance for clearer looking skin skin is left soft smooth and refreshed won't over dry skin non comedogenic dermatology tested so then the directions are moist in a cotton ball or pad and smooth over face with gentle upward strokes. If you experience any dryness or irritation, you'll use less frequently. So this is what I like to use to close my pores back up. You can also use, um, once you take off your mask with the warm water, you could just switch it to cold water and just pretty much just, <clears throat> you know, Throw cold water on your face, grab a towel, and kind of like press it down onto your face so you can close the pores back up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take cotton rounds and if I could get them out of this bag. So I take the cotton round, I take the, what is this, the toner, and now I'm just going to go all over my pores well pretty much all over my face because I just want to close everything uh, off and <clears throat> for the other side of the face I just flip it over and I just use the other side and this will close our pores to make sure that no bacteria goes back in there okay so once um, now this doesn't burn <coughs> or ooh, this doesn't burn or anything like that it does have a strong smell but it does not burn okay guys so now we're just gonna let this dry um, the best thing to do now is apply a lip mask or, yes, Marcus. They can see that. Um, so what I like to do now is just apply a lip mask or a lip balm. Currently, I am using a, um, one of those eggy ones. This is the flavor mango which I hate, but whatever. So I'm just going to <sighs> put that all over. Um, the next thing that I'm going to, now is the perfect time to use the serum. Now the serum that I'm going to use this, wait, let me, let me just say that pretty much every product that I have here is, um, what is it called? Is um called drugstore. Everything I've got off Amazon or the drugstore, which you can buy the masks off the drugstore. Now the next thing that I'm going to use is this vitamin C uh whoops. This vitamin C serum. Now this vitamin C serum I got off I got it at Marshall's. Um it was about I think it was $3.99 or something like that. Now the reason why I'm using the vitamin C serum is because I have some marks here and vitamin C would usually brighten and you know help you with the spots. So what I do is I just have the dropper and I just put it on my areas where I just want that serum to work so I just do it just around here the areas that I have that I have a lot of marks now all of these are flat 
these are not raised they're just marks um from me fucking with my face okay now we're just gonna let the skin absorb that <clears throat> um yeah so here it says vitamin c stimulates collagen production and helps moisture to minimize age signs and yeah this was i think i like i said $3.99 $2.99 or something like no more than five dollars i paid for that i had also picked up the with the same with that serum also at marshall's i had picked up this high hyaluronic acid and it can hold up to 1000 times its weight in moisture making it an ideal ingredient for deep hydration of the skin now um the moisturizer that i use has this so i don't put this on top but whenever i run out of that moisturizer you best believe i'm gonna be using this so once the skin has absorbed that serum the next thing that i'm gonna show you guys is what i use to moisturize now um what i'm using currently at the time is the garnier skin active um, moisture rescue refreshing gel cream and this is for normal to combo skin which is me i'm oily here and pretty normal uh, all around my face they also have one for dry skin which i'm pretty sure will be more uh, moisturizing and it says here apply twice daily to face and neck after cleansing this has the hyaluronic acid in it so <clears throat> What I do is, I just like to just go in and just do two, one down on each side of my face. And I just massage it all over my forehead, my eyebrows. I just massage this down my neck. And I just massage this all over the face the forehead the eyebrows making sure that all of that is nicely blended in with my skin now the final thing that i like to do is <clears throat> I, I use an eye cream for uh, i don't uh, i don't know I, I just use it because I have like little fine lines here but that has been there forever so what I use is this is the only thing that is not drugstore this I got at Sephora and it is the Estee Edit um, light late night eraser brightening eye balm with pink peony but this is essentially an eye cream so what I like to do is I just go Three little dots and then I just take my ring finger and I just massage that into that area now I don't like to mess with this area too much because this is a very sensitive area and you don't want to be tugging on it or anything crazy like that okay guys so that is it for the video um i hope that you guys enjoyed um like i said i in the beginning of, like i said in the beginning of the video i steam my face uh, maybe uh three times a week i uh do it definitely sundays and then I do it on Wednesday and then I do it on Friday um, sometimes I don't follow that uh, that uh, order but doing that order is what like what I have noticed works best for my skin um, yeah I also I think it's maybe once a month I also shave uh, my peach fuzz be just because um, whenever I do decide to wear makeup the makeup is not sitting on top of the, of those little tiny hairs and if i just shave it all off it looks beautiful because yeah you're getting rid of the little peach fuzz but you're also getting rid of 
all of that dead skin that's sitting on top of your skin if you haven't moisturized not even not moisturized if you haven't exfoliated in a while um like i said all of these products you guys can get at the drugstore um except the steamer and the eye cream that i use at the end of the video um the steamer you can find on amazon they also have a more expensive um a more expensive uh, option at Sephora. I think the one at Sephora is about $150. This one I'm pretty sure I pay no more than $40. Um, and the eye cream, which was the Estee Edit uh, cream. I don't remember how much that cream was. But I am sure that um, there has to be a drugstore um eye cream i just have never tried one from the from the drugstore so i don't want to give you guys a um an option for a non-drugstore one um this eye cream works okay <clears throat> i don't use it every day like i should so yeah um i know that a lot of you guys are wondering why i haven't been on youtube for a whole year um, it has been a very trying uh, year. I've had surgeries. I've been sick. I've been all over the place. But I am definitely back. Um, I am feeling a lot better now. Um, I am getting things to make my videos better. I'm ordering a background. I have um, lights, new lights that I have to set up and all that jazz i was finally able to connect the camera to my computer so i can just um so that i can control the camera through the computer instead of me just going back and forth touching pulling here pulling that all of that craziness i don't have to deal with that anymore um yeah so uh if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any comments or if you guys have any uh, ideas thoughts that you guys want to tell me please leave it in the comment section down below and for all of you that have stuck around even though I haven't made videos for a very long time thank you thank you very much I love you guys so much and until next time guys bye